Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name's Andrew, and this is a VR360 experience for the Arctic Sun STAT. Melissa, in your hospital, where do you keep the Arctic Sun? We keep ours in the supply room. Okay. We like to keep ours in the trauma room with the accessories. That way it's easily accessible. Melissa, when we go in, can you grab the Arctic Sun and bring it to the bedside? Sure. Great, let's go in. So this is our patient, Mitch, and we've already determined that Mitch is a candidate for targeted temperature management or TTM. But now it's time to review the pad selection sizing. So if you look over here, we have gel pads in small, medium, large, and universal sizes, and they're based off the patient's weight. Mitch, being a male and over 220 pounds, we know that the best fitting pads for him will be the large and at least one to two universal gel pads. Will, could you grab the gel pads for us? And Melissa, could you go to the other side of the bed to assist with the procedure? Let's start by uncovering the patient and then putting the bed rail up. We're gonna start the procedure by applying the universal gel pad first. And to do that, we're gonna remove the clear liner from the gel pad and place the gel pad directly on the patient's abdomen. We want to assure that there's intimate skin contact. And once the gel pad is placed, we're gonna assure that the tubes and drains are running down towards the foot of the bed. From there, we can start to position the patient. When we, when we place the torso pad, we want to assure that the pad is aligned with the top of the shoulder blade, and we want to maintain a clearance around the spine. Dr. Simmons, you have an emergency call on the third floor. Dr. Simmons, check. Dr. Simmons, emergency call, third floor. We can then fold the pad around to the patient's abdomen and overlay it directly on top of the universal gel pad. We can now place the patient back on his backside. For the leg pad, we can position his leg up. And with the leg pad, we want to assure that the manifolds remain anterior and start by placing it on the top of the patient's leg, then wrapping around and sticking it to itself. All right, now that we've applied the patient's right side, we're gonna duplicate that process for the left. Thank you, Melissa. Once again, maintain that gap around the any bony prominences. Overlay the pad on the universal, and we can put the patient on their back. Once all the pads are applied, we're once again going to assure that everything is running down towards the foot of the bed. And from here, we're going to make our connections. In order to make our connections, we want to start by holding the tubing of the fluid delivery line and also holding the tubing of the patient's gel pad. We'll simply insert the clear connector, making sure that we avoid grabbing onto it, and listen for that audible click. Now we can continue to connect the rest of the gel pads. Once our gel pads have been connected, we just want to one more time be assured that the tubing is running to the, off to the patient's side. And from there, we're gonna move on with connecting our temperature probe. We're now gonna move forward with connecting the temperature probe.
The first thing we want to do is verify that our temperature cable is plugged into temperature one on the Arctic Sun stat. Temperature two is available if we'd like to monitor a secondary temperature throughout the course of therapy as well. The temperature cable is going to take a standard YSI 400 attachment, and that can be a fully esophageal or rectal temperature probe. Once we've connected the attachment to our patient, we can then move forward to initiating therapy. At this point, we can go to our Arctic Sun screen and we can pick our desired therapy. We have an option between normothermia and hypothermia. In this case, we're gonna select the hypothermia button. We do have to confirm that this is a new patient. And then we're going to confirm the pad selection size. And for this instance, this is an adult. Once we've entered the therapy selection screen, we're gonna simply press the green start button. Therapy started. Listen for the tone and look for the flashing cooling window. So from our therapy selection screen, we can either continue our current patient, select normothermia, or select hypothermia. In this case, we'll select the hypothermia button, and we wanna confirm that this is in fact a new patient. From here, we go to our pad selection screen, and we're gonna select adult. Once we've entered our hypothermia screen, we have two control panels at the bottom of the screen, one for cooling, one for rewarming. On the cooling side, you'll notice that everything is pre-programmed to your hospital's protocol, as well as the duration of therapy. On the rewarming side, we once again have our target temperature to rewarm, as well as the duration. These counters will count down, allowing us to see how much time is left in either therapy. And to start therapy, we'll simply press the green start therapy button. Therapy started. After the prompt, you'll notice the blinking screen. And after a certain duration of time, you'll see a blue consistent water temperature and a yellow patient temperature line appear on our case graph. The dotted yellow line is our target temperature for therapy. At the top, you'll see the yellow patient temperature as well as the te patient temperature displayed down the left side of the on the right, you will see the system water temperature as well as the system water temperature on the right. To stop therapy, we're simply gonna press stop. And at this point, we'll follow the prompt to empty pads by pressing the start button. Next, we're gonna talk about monitor mode. Monitor mode is available in both the hypothermia and normothermia screens. Monitor mode is available through the monitor mode button. Once this screen is pulled up, we'll be able to set upper limits, lower limits, and a duration of time for which if that temperature is exceeded, the device will kick into therapy. Once we've set our limits, you'll see a new dotted blue line at the top for your upper limit and a dotted blue line for your lower limit. The dotted yellow line will still remain your target temperature. Anytime the patient exceeds your upper or your lower limit, the device will kick in automatically starting therapy. Now we'll talk about work to cool. Work to cool is displayed in your therapy window in blue and orange bars. If you see your patient with a blue bar, that means everything is stable and you can continue on with your normal assessments. If you do see orange displayed, this means we need to stop and identify if the patient is either shivering, having any seizure activity, fever activity, internal bleeding, or other causes of heat generation. The Arctic Sun stat has pre-programmed alarms. And as you can see, if an alarm comes up on your screen, we have the ability to scroll through and look for a solution. These alarms will require a response from the nurse. Simply scroll through, find your solution, and when you have your answer, you can hit the X and exit out and continue therapy as needed. Now we're going to discuss the steps in taking our patient from the emergency room to the ICU. To do that, we're gonna to come to our therapy screen and we're gonna press the red stop button. At this point, we're gonna to need to return the water back from the pads to the device. And to do that, we're gonna follow the on-screen prompt 
to return the water. From here, we will disconnect the patient's temperature probe, but it is okay to leave the patient's pads on for this procedure. After that, we're going to disconnect the pads from the device. To disconnect our gel pads, we want to simply grab the wings, we're going to pinch, we're going to push, and then we will pull to remove the gel pad. If we could, let's repeat that process on the other four pads. Great, I'll take that. Now that we're fully disconnected from our patient, we can move forward with moving the, transferring the patient. I'll shut the device off. And at this point, we can hang the cable from our cable management systems. All right, let's go. Now that we've transferred the patient from the emergency room to the ICU, the device has followed the patient's pathway. We're gonna go through the steps of reinitiating therapy. In order to do that, we wanna make sure that we've reconnected the patient probe to the Arctic Sun, and at that point, we can reconnect the gel pads to the device as well. I'll make the first connection. Carlos, Will, could you make the other four connections, please? That looks great. From there, all we have to do is simply press the continue current patient button. And once we approach our therapy screen, we're gonna press the green start therapy button. Therapy started. Once you hear the prompt, you'll know that therapy is running, but you can also confirm that it is going by looking at your cooling window and seeing that flashing. Now that we've identified the appropriate indicators to end therapy, we can move forward with disconnecting the patient from the device. We need to go back to our therapy screen and hit the red stop therapy button. And at this point, we can disconnect the patient from the probe and also disconnect our gel pads from the Arctic Sun. Carlos, can you give me a hand with this? Sure. I can help you out there. Thank you. Once our pads are disconnected from the device, we're gonna then power the device off and clean the device per your hospital's protocol. Indications for use. The Arctic Sun Temperature Management System is a thermal regulating system indicated for monitoring and controlling patient temperature in adult and pediatric patients of all ages. Contraindications. There are no known contraindications for the use of a non-invasive thermoregulatory system. Do not place arctic gel pads on skin that has signs of ulcerations, burns, hives, or rash. Do not remove the fabric release liner of the neonatal arctic gel pad and expose the hydrogel. Do not place arctic gel pads on immature, non-keratinized skin or premature babies. While there are no known allergies to hydrogel materials, caution should be exercised with any patient with a history of skin allergies or sensitivities. Warnings. When using the Arctic Sun Temperature Management System, note that all other thermal conductive systems in use while warming or cooling with this device may interfere with patient temperature control. The Arctic Sun Temperature Management System is not intended for use in the operating room environment. Medavance supplies temperature simulators, fixed value resistors, for testing, training, and demonstration purposes. Never use this device or other method to circumvent the normal patient temperature feedback control when the system is connected to the patient. Doing so exposes the patient to the hazards associated with severe hypo or hyperthermia. Cautions. 
Due to underlying medical or physiological conditions, some patients are more susceptible to skin damage from pressure and heat or cold. Patients at risk include those with poor tissue perfusion or poor skin integrity due to edema, diabetes, peripheral vascular disease, poor nutritional status, steroid use, or high-dose vasopressor therapy. Examine the patient's skin under the Arctic gel pads. Skin injury may occur as a cumulative result of pressure, time, and temperature. Carefully remove Arctic gel pads from the patient's skin at the completion of use. Aggressive removal or removal of cold pads from the patient's skin may result in skin tears. The rate of temperature change and potentially the final achievable patient temperature is affected by many factors. Treatment application, monitoring, and results are the responsibility of the attending physician. If the patient does not reach target temperature in a reasonable time, or the patient is not able to be maintained at the target temperature, the skin may be exposed to low or high water temperatures for an extended period of time, which may increase the risk for skin injury. Please consult Operator's Manual for more detailed safety information and instructions for use. Federal law, USA, restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a physician.